Oh gosh, guys, this book review is long overdue. Um, I read this ages ago. I've reread it and I love it. So let's talk about it. Hey there, saplings. Welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today's book review is Australian Druidry by Julie Brett. Pagan Portals is a favorite series of mine. It's done by Moon Books. They are always super short, sweet. They get to like the nugget of information that you want and always a couple little tidbits that you'd never thought about before. And so I love that. Uh, Julie Brett talks about how you can take the place that you're living now and reinterpret the wheel of the year. And in what ways can we acknowledge the essence of those festivals we all honor while also better interpreting and relating to the environment in which we live? Which, if we're doing an earth-based spirituality, is vital, right? We want to reflect the land, the spirits that we're working with here, not just in the Celtic Isles. <laughs> we, we need um, something that works for who we are now and what our community experience is now. I think the ideas in this book are really straightforward and easy to understand and yet vital to us adapting our communities to climate crisis. We are all going to experience a lot more disturbance in our environment and seasonal shifts are going to be dramatic. We have reached the point where climate change is not change anymore, it is crisis. And the more we adapt, the better our communities and our families and ourselves will be ready for this change. Change is not always bad, but there are a lot of things that will shift so quickly that being prepared is important. And that includes our spiritual practices. So acknowledging the long periods of droughts and acknowledging what um, flooding is like. You know, in our area, we are abundant in water. We're very lucky. We have tons of wetlands and marshes and all of these sponges for extra rainfall. But because of excessive development or pressures from uh, conventional agriculture, a lot of those sponges have been drained, have been bulldozed over. And what that means for our area moving into climate crisis is that our seasons are going to be a little bit different. And how do I, in this area, adjust my eight seasonal celebrations to acknowledge that change and work with our land for healing, for better understanding? And I think this book talks um, a lot about the core basic elements that will help you do that. Or if you just live in an area like Australia, where, you know, you have very different seasons than what the Druids and pagans are experiencing in the UK. So obviously I'm not an Australian Druid, uh, but I really liked this book and I think the core elements will be useful as we further approach climate crisis and adapt to it. Another side note is Julie Brett is just an awesome druid to follow online. She does these uh, pendants as well. So I will leave a link in the description to her Instagram account where you can then find information about what is coming up for sale. Obviously you don't need fancy jewelry, you don't need fancy tools to practice druidry, but I have gotten more satisfaction out of this purchase than I have in a really long time. It has been beautifully crafted. I wear it tons almost every day and it has held up amazingly well. I get a lot of compliments from pagans and non-pagans alike and just a lot of interest. People are drawn to the piece. I think that's the sign of someone who is magically inclined and in taking that into their craft when they make jewelry or tools for pagans is when even those who are not as open to magic or new age spirituality or paganism, they feel drawn to those items as well, kind of inexplicably a good measurement of, ooh, yeah, that magic is working. Okay, short book, short review, but if you uh, have any comments about my somewhat random rant about adapting our practices to climate crisis 
or shifting seasonal festivals to the area in which you live, I would love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below. This week's sapling shout out goes out to Sarah Stewart. She wrote a comment on my um, Druid Grade review about how she started the journey into the Druid Grade and then stopped back and was feeling re-inspired to um, pursue that. So I hope things are going well with you, Sarah, and let us know as you, um, you know, further study in the Druid Grade. Tell us uh, a little bit about how things are going. If you want to be next video's sapling shout out, Leave me a comment down below or come chat with me on Instagram at esotericmoment. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.